Hi, it's Tash, and today's video is about what I learned at Facebook HQ this week. So I am lucky enough to be one of the first eight trainers for Facebook She Means Business campaign. This means I go out into the community, I go to events, and I speak on behalf of Facebook, teaching small, medium-sized business owners how to use Facebook effectively for their business. So everything from pages through to ads, through to setting up, through to running e-commerce campaigns. This week, I went back to Facebook HQ for some updated training and to hear the latest developments from Facebook so that when I go out and out and teach on behalf of Facebook I basically know what I'm talking about. The first thing I learned is that in case there was any doubt it's actually totally official we are completely obsessed with Facebook and Instagram and their family of assets so WhatsApp and Messenger. The average person checks Facebook and Instagram 80 times per day and spends three to four hours on their phones. Now that seems insane to me I know I spend a lot of time on my phone but I'm running a digital agency and we run Facebook ads so obviously I'm going to spend time in Facebook. I had no idea the average person was spending that much time on their phone in Facebook and in fact one in every four minutes of mobile phone usage is spent in Facebook's family of apps. So we are completely obsessed, that's where we're spending our time. You know if we're spending three hours a day on our phones are we even watching TV? You know the world has totally changed. The next thing I learned is that as a platform Facebook is totally doubling down on search. So right now yes there's search functionality on Facebook if you're looking for someone or a business you may put their name in and then you get quite a random assortment of results that's not necessarily presented in the best possible way that it could be presented and we sort of live our lives where we go to Google to search for specific things and we go to Facebook to browse. Facebook are really investing in developing their search platform to give better results for search so maybe they're even thinking of taking on Google at search. What this means is that if you're a business owner it's really important now to make sure your business is categorized within the right in the right business type of category and your page has a clear definition. What will happen is we'll wake up at some point in the next six months or a year and the whole search functionality will have been updated on Facebook. We'll put something in and the results will be really great and at that point you want to make sure you're discoverable so update those settings now. The third thing I learned is that Instagram stories is the next big consumer shift in terms of how Facebook see the platform developing. In fact stories could even become in the future the new feed. It's not confirmed but that's something that was discussed. What this means for advertisers is that you can really by taking advantage of the story placements in ads you can really get first mover advantage as an Instagram stories advertiser so as an agency we don't really do that many ads and stories right now but literally as of today we are launching them the fourth thing I learned is to start thinking about the fast frequent environment which is basically the mobile phone browser so content within a mobile feed is consumed 41% faster than within a desktop feed if you're advertising on mobile and hopefully you're using video advertising on mobile you've, you're in a fast and frequent environment and you have to think about the way to make the content stand out in that context so literally like an explosion in the first second perhaps not something quite that radical but you get the idea the fifth thing I learned and this is something that we as an agency are already really all over is that it's all about video so basically people spend five times longer looking at video posts than they do photographic posts so when you're running ads and I think pretty much all our ads that run now are video ads but the reason they we use video ads from our point of view is that we see that they go further and they cost less but actually it's the facts are people spend five times longer looking at them which means they go further and it costs less so it's all about video and in terms of video another thing I learned is that vertical content so the content that fits and fills the screen of a mobile phone and it's 19 by 6 format has a 9% better conversion rate than standard video so it's really important to play around with video formats and test them and I'm talking about ads here and the last thing I learned is that Facebook as a platform is determined to provide the cheapest ad spend and the highest return on investment even when CPMs go up so obviously competition across any popular advertising platform increases and that means ads get more expensive but that's why Facebook is focusing on opening new ad inventory across say Instagram stories across messages Messenger, across WhatsApp because their goal as a business is always to provide the most effective lowest price advertising and the highest ROI so the fact that that's their long time goal is really exciting for people like me who spend all our lives running Facebook ads because it means we can get long term results so that's the best bits of what I learned at Facebook HQ I really hope you found it helpful if you've got any questions about using Facebook or Instagram for your business or running effective Facebook ads just drop me a message